Hi guys, today I have a pretty cool video to show you. I had this print I was trying to do. It's probably hard for you guys to see, but uh, let's see which side was it. Yeah, it's 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 hard. Let me just show you the video of it. <coughs> um, let me see if I can find it. <coughs> so this is the video um, of actually what is happening. So I'm using Orca Slicer, and you can see this is my bamboo, it's ch chugging away on it. I'm just going to fast forward it a little bit. So it comes to the end here, and then it's going to finish up, and it's going to go to the middle, and that happens. Let me see, I'll pause it there. This is, this is a scratch by the nozzle in the uh, filament after it's been printed and uh, no, it's it's not that deep but it has some potential risks when it does this because if if the filament is not sticking so well let's say it's on a uh, like one of those textured pa uh, textured plates in this case I'm using glue and uh, engineering plate and I'm printing TPU and um, if it was textured it could rip the whole thing off <laughs> because it wouldn't be sticking enough. So, my video today is how to avoid this. Well, it turns out I found uh, an article online regarding this. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find it. Uh, let's see, that's that one and this. Uh, let me see. I can drag it out. So here, here it basically is. Ah, oh. it's not always easy to uh, to fix things. So uh, the problem was other people also had this uh, scratch when it was traveling from one point to another to start a different object. And I didn't know what was causing this, but I, I managed to scrape through this article by what someone called. Uh, he had an answer was in Igiana Kas or something like that. And it's from 2003, but the option actually works for this. So basically, it's he says that uh, to to avoid scratching the surface of your your info after you print you should disable the option called reduce infill retraction and that is inside the others option in Orca slicers you have this reduce infill retraction the, by default it's marked so it's hooked and then you also need to go into the settings of your nozzle and to the extruders extruder settings and uh, you basically uh, you have to uh, set a travel distance threshold in this case he has set it to two millimeters I think that's kind of big uh, the smaller that is the less chance it is that it will scrape when you when you hit so if you're just gonna go a certain distance to another object where there's a lot of detail uh, so I tried to set this to 0 0.1 millimeter because I don't actually want it to scrape anything. And the set hop distance here, I I, um, I changed mine to 1.8 because I wanted to retract the filament 1.8 before it jumps. So uh, because it's TPU, so it's a lot of flowing easily. But I left the set hop retraction to 0 0.4 like he had here. Uh, so let's see. Uh, the these are my before settings as you can see this is the settings I used when it scraped the TPU as you can see so I had it hooked on and I had it set to travel distance 
one millimeters in the extruder setting and um, then I changed the settings to so I'm just gonna show you the video again so you see it in in real time uh, let me see there so I'll go back a bit you see here it's it's on the edge of the to finish and it happens very fast Zit, zit. So it's actually, actually it scrapes the filament three times. Three times it scrapes it. <laughs> and it's just nasty. So that can really destroy your print if you, if you have that. Now, I'm going to show you what happens. Um, I'm using open shot here. So, so I made a small incision here. So you can see, here is the original one. And there is no hop. It doesn't hop there. It just straight out goes to the other side of the of the print. Now uh, I try to make a version where you can see it in slow motion. Let's see if we can play that. Now it should take off, and there is no set hop. See, that's the end. It's like cutting it with a laser. <laughs> and then it do a circle because I have a circle there. And then it goes back. Same thing, scraping with the nozzle. And then it goes back again. And then it does a set hop because it changes to the next layer, which is in the settings. But the thing is, this can create deformity in the, in the prints. So the setting that you use is i'm gonna i'm gonna play it in the media player instead because it's it's easier to see so so this is after the settings let's see so you come to the end and i'm just moving it a bit fast forward and it will do a setup when it hits the end it will do a hop you can barely see it you see it's moving the the bed up and down and there is no scratch now none whatsoever let's see that again in open shot so it comes in let me see I'll just go back a bit see if I can increase the preview a little bit more like that so we'll just watch it frame by frame so you can see what happens so you get to here and then it finishes and don't know if you can see but right before there notice there notice the bed is it's lowering itself by 0 0.4 millimeters just before the head lifts you see this it's not so easy to see on the video but but that's when they do the set hop that you have set in the second settings so basically it 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 moves the bed down a little bit and then the head goes and travels to the next destination um i can see one problem with this is if you have the retraction set wrongly it will not retract the filament before it jumps enough and you will get stringing so you need to test this on a certain print that you're doing uh, for me this was a really good solution for my filament because you see when you play it in in, in full speed that's where it jumps you see it goes back and forth and it doesn't really create a scratch anymore so if you have these problems with your filament scratching then what you should do is you go into your let me see i can find my orca settings <coughs> Uh, so basically it's under others and then you scroll down and you find G code input and you take this setting here uh, which basically says don't retract when the travel is entirely in an infill area that means the oozing can't be seen this can reduce times of retraction for complex model and saving printing time 
but make slicing and g-code generation slower. I think I added this at some point because I'm, I have a vague recollection, recollection I wanted to save time. But what this did is a really bad thing because it scrapes. So don't leave that on. Remove that and also you need to go into the nozzle properties here and then extruder and then you need to change this value here for travel distance threshold in my case I set that to 0 0.1 it means that if uh, if it comes and an area is uh, less than 0 0.1 millimeters apart like if you have two objects close and you're printing with a 0 0.2 nozzle uh, and the objects are less than 0 0.1 millimeters apart then it will not hop but if it's if you set it to like two it will hop if it's less than two millimeters it will not hop so if it's, if you set it to three and it's less than three millimeters apart from the distance it wants to hop it will not hop but if you set this to 0 0.1 like i've done here it will basically not uh, hop at all because most models don't have that lower value um so yeah uh i thought that would be an interesting video for you guys to see uh, if you if you if you encounter that your uh, your uh, nozzle is scraping the filament when it's traveling over infill, then uh, go into your slicer and find an option called Reduce Infill Retraction, and untick that box. And then, in addition, make sure you set your value of how long a distance you want to this value to to be going for because basically what you're saying is that when you when you when you remove this use this if this is hooked off it will ignore this okay so it ignores this if this one is marked so if you remove this it will fall back to this in the nozzle settings so okay that's it for this video uh, thank you very much and see you in the next one like and subscribe if you like it.